one of those questions that I get asked quite frequently. What are you planning to sell next? Are you ever going to let go of this bag, etc, etc? I don't necessarily think that the person asking is interested in buying the bag, although that could be one of the reasons. But sometimes you guys are just wondering how am I doing with the bag? Do I still love it? So here we are. We are doing this video where I talk about the bags that I'm thinking of letting go. In fact, not just bags, but just things in general, luxury items in general. One of the first bags that has... <laughs> It has come and gone in my collection so many times. It is the Coco Handle. Yes, I used to own quite a few of them. They all kind of have left my collection and then I, I missed it again and I bought it again and hence I ended up with this green one, this light green one, which is so cute. This is the mini size. Part of the reason why I got this bag, however, was the color. The color is stunning, stunning, stunning. It is this very unusual color that Chanel doesn't really do. Chanel does more pink and whites and grays than green. Yes, they do greens too, but very, very rarely do they do a very gorgeous, stunning, unusual, unique green. And that is one of the reasons why I got so attracted to it. Even as of right now, I'm looking at my viewfinder and I'm just like, oh my goodness, it's so pretty. But anyway, I have decided to detach myself from it. Um, I have started getting consignment quotes for it. I've also posted it on my own Instagram closet to see if there's anyone who is already interested in it. It is also a really terrible market to start selling, um, but there's never really a good time to be honest. It's more about you making space and be at peace with um, letting go and also for helping you recuperate some money because as you all know, I have had many, <laughs> many, many spending. Anyway, speaking of Hermes, I don't really have a lot of Hermes things that I really need to, to sell. In fact, for example, this bag, right? If I don't sell it or if no one is interested, it's still going to be part of my collection. Why? Because I find that with Hermes, my honeymoon phase, not quite over yet. I haven't officially posted this bag yet, although I will start getting quotes from consignments with Hermes and with Chanel. A lot of times you don't get to really try it. You, you kind of get to just see it and you have to make a quick decision whether you're going to buy it or not because the next client that they have in line, not even in line, like the next client who's like literally outside the door or on the other side of the of the store, they're like ready to buy it. So you just kind of have to make a decision to buy it. And yes, it, it does affect your buying decision sometimes. A lot of times it's because of FOMO and it's not the healthiest, but it's also not the worst thing in the world. Like it's not that serious. But anyway, so of course I was very interested in this bag. I did ask about it and when I was presented it, I, I just bought it because I mean, where where else and when else am I ever going to get another offer, right? It's, it's possible, but you're going to wait a little while longer. And there is no really real way for me to know whether I would end up loving and like using this bag so much or not until I have it. So after owning it for a while, it's definitely one of those bags that I know um, and have spoken about many times in terms of it's so easy and practical very, 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 very easy to get in and out because like you see, um, it's nothing complicated to get in and out of this bag, but it's also super easy to open and close. That's definitely one thing that I'm very, very happy about. And um, you see everything at a glance. So nothing about um, the fussiness of this bag is, is zero. It's like so easy. The only thing that I personally don't like is how sporty it looks. Uh, because, okay, again, I'm wearing something very casual today, but usually I am more of a dressier person and I'm either more dressy or I'm more casual. So when I'm even more casual than what I'm dressing today, uh, it still doesn't work. It, it's sort of like that specific sporty style that is really not, 
it's very hard for me to stop. Hence the reason why I am after a Constance 18, even though I know, I already know that the Constance is not gonna fit as much. It doesn't have a pop back pocket. It's probably gonna get all kinds of scratches on the hardware. Whereas this one, you don't get that kind of scratches. It has that smooth, rounded, hardware it just opens like this um everything will stay so in fact the more i talk about it the more i'm kind of convincing myself to just keep it anyway but that's not that's not my goal is to hoard everything my goal is to really keep a tight collection of items that i want to reach for off this one i know <laughs> might shock some of you because i've spoken highly highly about this bag and i still do i've you guys know ever since this bag came out i was obsessed with it this is one of those designs that are so special it's a Karl lagerfeld design obviously back then i couldn't really afford a classic or maybe i could but like i just could never take the plunge i always thought that oh my gosh it's so expensive and now look at the prices now they're insane has it been officially discontinued by chanel i don't know i don't think so because I feel like I still see it every season. It's still out, but they tend to sell only the small size, which is this size, because that's the size that people are so very, very interested in. And they tend to only sell the black one too. Why am I letting it go then? Okay, I know. Um, this was definitely one of the harder decisions that I've had to make because again, I've got, I've got one of the original ones. It's in perfect, condition the fact that i'm letting it go speaks volume and i i feel like maybe there is a, a side of me who is a slightly overwhelmed with the fact that i have so many black bags and even though i still believe that black bags are better for me because every time i go and buy a color bag i i also have a harder time styling them so um I think it's a combination of reasons. Obviously, uh, the fact that there's just so many black bags that I, I feel like it's, it's hard to rotate all of them when, uh, if I'm just looking to grab a bag, it, there are so many bags that I, I would rather grab more just to get more use out of them. Case in point, Birkin and Kelly's, they're not the easiest to style, but I want to get more wear out of them because they're so freaking expensive. Um, and then this is sort of like, I want to keep it in my collection, but it's just going to sit around, at least for the time being, it has been sitting around for the last, I think up for the last year, it sort of has been sitting around. I have grabbed it, but like, I always felt like, oh no, I need to grab my best bags more often because I feel guilty for not doing it. And so, um, I feel like it is time to let go of some of the bags that has really served me but um it, it is time to not only recuperate but to make space and to make me feel more at peace and to feel like i'm not neglecting any of them the other reason why i also thought that between the gabrielle and this bag i should probably let the gabrielle go is because i feel like the 19 still for me is a bag that i should still keep at least for the time being Oh, they're both so nice but i decided that between the two i would rather let go of the gabrielle and still hold on to my chanel 19 a little longer at least see how i feel about it next year um but again you guys know how much i love the 19 as well it is also um this one is also extra special because it is still carl's co-design uh with virginie via so it's sort of like a big milestone in the past i have sometimes kind of held on to things that i should have let go at the time because in the end i didn't really end up wearing them as much anyway so this is one of those things where i'm kind of taking a, a gamble with myself too like i'm trying to decide whether i should just keep it a little bit longer just to see how i feel this next one again another black bag i think by getting rid of a few black bags, it will make my collection look more breathable in terms of like, it's not so, so similar. Um, anyway, I, it's hard to explain. Okay, for this one, however, the reason is because I do have more of a duplicate side by side. They look nothing like each other at all. Um, but for some reason, um, 
for my style and and just the way that i like to wear clothes these days i am more into less embellishments and more simple just like just more simple i don't know how else to describe it just more simple anyway every time i grab a bucket bag i just want to grab this bag even though technically this one is way more useful practical because it has the crossbody and the top handle um this one is a little bit more annoying that way because you can only do the quirk of your arm or you hold it by your hands um, but there's a something about the simplicity of this they're both just as lightweight too by the way they're both great um, but there's a, a little bit more simplicity to this one that i really enjoy um, and again uh, maybe it is the fact that i do kind of prefer Hermes at this point in terms of um actually that's not true i like chanel a lot like i am trying to balance uh, a collection of not equal but like of styles between the two brands that i really really can rotate anyway so this sort of became more of a duplicate because ever since i've gotten the Hermes picotin this one has sort of been on the back burner it's just sitting there and I, I know this one is such a lovely coveted bag. Um, it was so hard for me to get a hold of this bag because I had to buy this one off of uh, a reseller. Brand new of course, every bag has its own sort of like roller coaster how I got it but uh, regardless it has served me quite well and even as I'm looking at it right now like I can totally wear this also very very easily that's the one thing about Chanel bags that I like is that they do style very very easily more so than Hermes bags sometimes but it does still depends on the style like for this one uh, it's definitely a little bit more feminine right uh, but even then I've seen so many people wear this with hoodie and it's totally cute there is something about Chanel that is so multifaceted that you can like it just goes with everything this is the newer version with the detachable strap and the pre patina version which is i mean even as you're looking at it right now right you're probably wondering why would i ever want to let something like this go but i did buy it with the intention of collecting and of at the time it was this novelty thing right it's always sold out so the moment i could get my hands on it i did ask a friend to help me um I, I immediately bought it but it's one of those things where I just have it but I don't really use it and do I have another nano bag this size yes <laughs> so do I really need it no um, but yeah I don't know maybe I am kind of holding on to this one similar to how the 19 is um, because I just I'm not sure the majority of you don't really follow me on my second Instagram account but those of you who do follow it would have seen a lot and I mean a lot of my costume jewelry being posted in fact I am thinking of just letting uh, the majority of it go because and I know that sounds crazy but um, I have been really just wearing my fine jewelry more these days and I'm not gonna lie I will miss them on that few occasions that I'm gonna need it to glam myself up but you guys also know my wish list I am eyeing some more statement fine jewelry as well from well Tiffany other brands and I just don't really want to be held back by my costume jewelry collection because they're gonna be there rarely used so is the, the fact that i'm gonna need them maybe once or twice a year gonna make that much of a difference maybe i, I don't know until then but i also am willing to uh just see if that's the case and even if i were to miss them for that couple of occasions where i would need them but if i had already let them go I would be at peace with it because the advantage of letting them go actually outweighs the disadvantage. I'm not gonna really show you one by one because I think I'm gonna do a separate video where I'm gonna just um, show my <laughs> costume jewelry collection before I really do let everything go and that way I'm gonna have a proper goodbye with them but yeah a lot of them have already been posted I also went a little bit overboard with buying a bunch of heart earrings 
but really the only collection that I'm gonna be keeping are these ones. Maybe the only sort of CC earrings I'm gonna keep are these ones because I do really love these ones. These ones are silver and they really do suit me very well but otherwise I'm most likely going to let go of everything else and that is a drastic cut in my collection I know and it's going to shock a lot of people but I am ready at this point I'm ready to move on I used to love my bells and whistles don't get me wrong and I, I do enjoy it here and there but I just don't think I need all of those I just need maybe a couple of couple of pieces that are so standout pieces that I love but uh, I would rather get fine jewelry um and i will get into more fine jewelry that are a little bit more statements also um they could be silver pieces too i'm not i'm not rolling out silver pieces even though silver do tend to tarnish over time but with bigger brands you can always bring it back and they can clean it for you so i'm not so concerned about that anyway so aside from jewelry which i know costume jewelry I love them so much but I am kind of moving on from them. It's not to say that fine jewelry are the end all be all, everyone should get them, it's just up to you. So aside from jewelry, right, there are um, many many ready to wear pieces, a lot of them with literally brand new, never even worn with tags, original tags still attached that I am thinking of letting go. And even with the ones that are are worn they are either so lightly worn or so well kept that they basically look brand new and i feel like um that's the one good thing about buying designer brand even though with ready to wear you don't really recuperate money in a sense not like bags with bags you can uh, but with ready to wear at least if it's a designer piece maybe you can still recuperate a good chunk of money obviously not all but a good chunk of money so i kind of also gained a little bit of weight you guys might not notice it but i was so unwell that i i couldn't even gain weight before so um i kind of gained a little bit of weight back so that i'm more healthy now but it also has <laughs> caused me to feel like the some of the dresses are too tight like some of some of them are so it's not all of them these days i prefer to just consign them and just have someone take care of the whole process for me. I still have to take pictures and everything anyway, so if you are interested, you know where to find me. You can always email me, which is why I also post it on my own Instagram because I already done done all the legwork. Um, but yeah, hopefully it was a interesting discussion for you and you know the trend these days is that everyone's cutting down not maybe not everyone but like a lot of people are cutting down some people are like literally shopping luxury shopping it's not new necessarily but uh, i think it just goes to show that people go through cycles i am planning to do a small giveaway it's from this company threads they've sent me some of their newest products to try i'm not obligated to talk about them but they're also gracious enough to offer giveaway prizes for my viewers threads is a canadian company they make high quality tights hoisery and intimates if you're someone who wears tights for work for the office or you just like to wear tights but you can never find the right one or maybe the quality ones that don't break um, and that feel comfortable, non-staticky, then threads is your answer. These are all made in Italy, super high quality yarn. And so um, this right here is one of their newest products. It's their Contour Lift Shorts. So I was really excited about these because sometimes you just have these like dresses that are maybe like a slip. They're kind of like a thin material. They don't give you a ton of coverage you have like a little bit of a tummy situation then uh, this is what these are they are supposed to give you a bit of compression but not uncomfortable and i am so looking forward to the little bit of help especially because i love to eat there's a little bit of boning here in the front and the back light compression knee high socks basically your tights but in a sock format, it give, gives you a little bit of compression. So anytime you have boots, 
uh, and you don't want to wear like very thick socks. Finally, with these two, sometimes I don't really want to wear a full tight situation. Sometimes I feel like having their knee high uh, or thigh high, actually, I should say thigh high tights. So you still get the coverage on the bottom part of your leg, but maybe you are wearing a longer type of skirt or dress, especially in the winter. You're typically not going to wear mini skirts, then you can just get away with their thigh high versions. These I've talked about in the past already. If you've missed it in one of my birthday haul videos, these are their incredible, incredible, invisible, reusable, sticky bras. And they're just the most high quality ones I've ever used. I have bought many from different brands. This is the lightest color that they have. They look like these. Um, these are just the medical grade silicone, which not all companies use medical grade silicone. So N1 looks like this, which is very, very similar to my skin tone. N2 is just slightly darker, a little bit more tanned, as you can see. So I'm pretty much an N1, but I can probably pull off an N2 as well. So these two colors are the lightest color, it goes all the way to N4. Whenever you want to go braless, but not necessarily with nothing on so these will give you a little bit of coverage lifting breast tape and i've got the black color and also their n1 n2 color unlike the reusable silicone bras which you can wash after every use and dry and reuse uh, these ones is a one-time use black tie events or like a very very special function evenings where you have to dress your best in a gown that is absolutely the most stunning but probably doesn't have the best coverage then you need this so very very excited for this because the holidays coming up but if you're interested in any of the items that i've shown you you can use my coupon code amy10 to save 10 percent off your first order now about the giveaway i just wanted to thank you and appreciate you as a either long time or new viewer on my channel and threads is so kind to offer a tone matching bundle to one of my viewers. In fact, I'm, it's three prizes, but I'm doing one per video. So last Friday on my luxury live show, I did one bundle. And so in today's video, I'm doing another bundle. And then in the members video this weekend, I'm going to do another bundle for members only. For the tone matching bundle, you get to win one of their famous invisible bras, which I Honestly, everybody should own them. If you are a girl, you need them. Also, part of the bundle includes their best-selling contour tights, quality Italian yarn. They are reinforced at the toes. They are non-staticky. They have a very supportive and very comfortable waistband. And this is one of their signature product, which is part of the bundle. So. All you need to do is comment in the comment section which item, luxury item, that you're the most shocked that I'm considering letting go and why. Let me know which bundle um, combination you want, size and color. I will contact the winner via DM on Instagram. So the only way for me to contact you back is if you leave me your Instagram handle, but don't put the at the ampersand, don't put that uh, because YouTube tends to remove comments like that because they, they don't want any spam. Make sure that you follow me and threads on YouTube and Instagram. I'm gonna be picking a winner at random based on the answers. Be aware of any scamming out there. I will never ever ask you to pay anything, not for any reason. This is a giveaway that you will receive directly from the company so it doesn't even come from me directly so if you're the winner i will only ask for your mailing address yeah so be careful and pay attention to the rules anyway thank you so much for watching um have a great day and i'll have some other videos that you might be interested in here on the screen talk to you next week and yeah bye guys